We're looking at four gospel perspectives, worship principles that make sense out of sexuality, sexual temptation, the sexual struggle. The first principle is the principle of mastery, that I cannot allow myself to be mastered by anything, and there's grace for that struggle. The second principle is the principle of eternity. I must always live in light of eternity, never making this moment all there is. The third principle is the principle of unity. This is the most shocking, sobering, counterintuitive of all of these four principles. It's mind-boggling. Paul says, don't you understand that you are one with Christ? And, and when we normally think of one with Christ, we think of some weird, ethereal, spiritual reality. Then he talks about your body being joined to Christ. And when he says that, it changes the whole ballgame because he's saying that not only are you spiritually united to Christ, your entire body, every physical sense, every physical capability has been joined to Christ. So that means whenever I'm involved with any act of sexuality, I take Christ with me in that moment. He is, he is absolutely tied to my body. He's been united to my body by, by grace. I can't ever separate the living Lord Jesus Christ from my sexuality. Now, in that, there's confrontation and there's comfort. First, there's confrontation. I must always ask myself, what is, does my physical sexuality expose a holy Lord, Savior, Lamb, Christ to? What do I connect Christ to? Uh, Paul talks about the horror of connecting Christ to a prostitute. You connect Christ to your sexuality. It's inescapable. The comfort is that if Christ is with me in my sexuality, then His grace is with me. His power is with me. His presence is with me. And in that, there is tremendous hope. We have one more of these principles to look at, and we'll do that in the next video.